Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In our today's video, we will talk about dividing integers. So last night, we have uploaded a video on how to multiply integers, and this time, we will focus on how to divide integers. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here, guys, is this. Divide the following integers, and right now we have five different examples, and these are the possible forms on how to divide integers. So before we start, review mo tayo ano ba yung mga rules on how to divide integers. So dito natin yung laging rules natin. When we are dividing integers, it is the same with multiplying integers. Pero don't get me wrong ha, yung tinutukoy kong rule is ito. Kapag same signs, positive. Kapag different signs, negative. So parang ganito lang, example lang. You have positive divided by positive that is equal to positive. Yan yung same sign natin. If you have negative divided by another negative, the answer is positive. Ito yung same signs natin. Two positive integers divided by each other is positive. Two negative integers divided by each other always positive. Yung isa naman, unlike signs, another, yung possible combination niya is that when you divide a positive by a negative integer, the answer is always negative. Take note of that. Next, negative divided by positive, different signs, the answer is always negative. As simple as that, guys. Two same sign integers divided to each other, positive. Two different signs, negative is the quotient. Let's start with number one. In number one, we have negative 36 divided by 9. Here, your 36 is negative and your 9 is positive. So as you can see, they have different signs, meaning your quotient must be negative. Now, all you need to do is to divide 36 by 9. And knowing that 36 divided by 9, that is equal to, the answer is 4. Meaning, for this item number 1, the value or the quotient of negative 36 and 9 is simply negative 4. Okay? So let's continue with negative 56 divided by negative 8. Now, here, 1 is negative. And the other is negative, meaning the answer is positive. Next, 56 divided by 8, that is equal to 7. Meaning your answer is positive 7. But, in integers guys, you don't need to write the positive sign because it is already understood if the number is positive, no sign is written in front of it. Okay? So, instead of positive 7, just write 7. And that's it for item number 2. Now let's move on with item number 3. 63 divided by negative 9. 63 is positive. Your 9 is negative, different signs. So the quotient is negative. So we have here negative. Then 63 divided by 9, that is equal to negative 7. And this is the answer for number 3. Now, let's move on to item number 4. For number 4, this one is a different form, okay? Different form of division or dividing integers. Your negative 48 divided by 8 is also the same as negative 48 divided by 8. So, don't be confused, guys, okay? So let's divide this two. As you can see, your 48 in the numerator is negative and your 8 in the denominator is positive. Okay? Meaning, they have different signs. So magiging quotient natin is negative. So we have negative. Then 48 divided by 8 is simply equal to 6. Meaning guys, for item number 4, our answer is simply negative 6. Now, Let's move on to item number 5. Number 5 is 100 over 25. 
this one is fairly easy. The answer here is 4. Sir, why 4? Because this one is positive and the other is positive, meaning your answer is positive. And knowing that 100 divided by 25, that is simply equal to 45. I hope guys you learned something from this video and for your activity. Let's put another item for you to answer. Let's have negative 22 divided by negative 11. So I hope guys you learned something from this video. And sana, I can see your answer within our comment section in item number 6. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!